Now see the LC circuit. In the LC circuit, we will have one inductor and one capacitor. So since in this circuit there is no resistor, so that's why the energy in the circuit will not dissipate. So whatever the energy in the form of your either magnetic or electrical energy, that will your remain constant. So in LC circuit, we are going to discuss how the charge and current in the circuit here changes. So we are taking just a small and simple circuit. From that we will get the idea how to make equation. Then we can get the solution of that. So let let this your capacitor of capacitance C and one inductor of inductance self inductance L has been given. And switch initially it was your open. So let initially capacitor have charge has charge Q naught like that we can say and switch as was open. Initially capacitor have charge Q naught and switch as was open. So at T is equal to zero switch as close. As soon as the switch as close, so that create a potential difference because these two plates which are at different potential. So when these two plates which are at different potential we are joining with a wire so because of the potential different charge start flowing and positive charge flow from higher potential to lower potential the charge start coming from here to like that positive charge or we can say electron is flowing in that direction. So as switch as close so charge start flowing, charge start flowing from capacitor, then a current will develop due to that flow of charge. Then a current established in the circuit. due to flow of charge. So let at T is equal to T Q is the charge in circuit Q is the charge in capacitor and I is the current in circuit. I is the current in circuit. So this is the let diagram at T is equal to T. Q is the charge, I is the current, C is capacitance, L is this. Now initially when switch S was open there was no current here. So EMF will develop which opposes the current here L di by dt. The first equation as charge on capacitor decreases as charge on capacitor decreases so I is your minus dq by dt this is your first equation. Second equation we can make by using Kirchhoff's law here. So minus Q by C plus L di by dt. This is 0. Now, 
from first and second equation. We can write minus q by c di by dt is your now minus l d2 q by dt square which is 0 here. So from here we are getting relation d2 q by dt square which is equal to your minus 1 by lc into q. After solving this is our second order differential equation. After solving this equation we can have q is equal to q naught sin omega t plus phi as the solution of this equation. So q is equal to q naught sin omega t plus phi so as q is equal to q naught sin omega t plus phi the solution here in this particular case for this case for given condition at t is equal to 0 q is equal to q naught so that give us phi is equal to pi by 2 at t 0 q is q naught the sine phi will be your 1 the phi is your pi by 2 so q is equal to q naught cos omega t this is your one equation and omega is equal to from here we can have 1 by root over lc. So from this we can say charge and capacitor changes according to cos function. Now if I am talking about the current. So current I is your minus dq by dt as I is your minus dq by dt. So now if we are differentiating here then we will get your I is your q naught omega sin omega t. So current vary according to sine function and charge vary according to your cos function. So from that we can have an idea the variation of charge on a capacitor can be plotted as well as variation of current in the circuit also can be plotted. See. So from here we can get the charge on a capacitor. This is your charge on a capacitor as a function of time with a cos function. The charge on a capacitor your vary like this. Similarly, if we are looking the current, current in a circuit, see in the diagram here, current in the circuit and direction of current we can say let I here at charge is your at any time your Q here. So current is given as a sine function Q naught omega sine omega t. So that will be in that form. In this manner current is varying. So from here what is the conclusion given charge on the capsule your maximum that your Q naught. Current in the circuit your zero that is your zero current and when current is maximum then charge is zero. The maximum current in the circuit here Q naught omega and negative current as well as negative charge indicate here their polarity or continuously changes here. So now energy is stored by a capacitor at any time T. So energy is stored by capacitor at any time t t that is the electrical energy the ue we can write half q square by c to which is written as from here half q naught square by c cos square omega t this is the variation of energy in the capacitor similarly energy in inductor energy in inductor um is written as half 
L i square and the value of i we can get from here the half L i is q naught square omega naught square sin square omega t the magnetic energy can be said here and now q square value already we have determined q is your omega is your 1 by L c the omega square your 1 by L c L and L cancel then again it become your half q naught square by c sin square omega t this is the your magnetic energy so total energy so total energy if i am writing total energy u is equal to your u electrical plus u magnetic and then if you are solving the half q naught square by c and this is nothing it is your constant so what is the conclusion here the sum of the energy in capacitor and inductor you remain constant only the energy of shift or energy or oscillate between the capacitor and inductor if we are making a energy graph for this let electrical energy as a cos function and cos square value and both value are positive like this this is the variation of electrical energy in a capacitor this we can say ue now magnetic energy as a sine function so this is your in this form magnetic energy comes in this form this is your sine function and now if we are looking the total energy that your constant it means sum of the energy will be here your constant so that is the total energy u which is here constant the main point related to your lc oscillation circuit is that since in this circuit there is no dissipating device is connected the inductor is stored magnetic energy capacitor is stored electrical energy the total sum of these two energy will remain constant only with the time kinetic with the time electrical energy convert into magnetic energy magnetic can convert into electrical energy according to this relation so this is a general condition for a particular given condition given condition means when charge on the capacitor was maximum at t is equal to zero otherwise our general solution is this q is equal to q not sin omega t plus phi and that solution can be changed as our phi value or changes so here charge variation or electrical energy see whatever the charge varies charge vary according to the frequency omega but energy vary according to the frequency 2 omega because there is no negative component of the energy all are the positive component so the cycle see the current cycle your one this is your one cycle of current in the same time there is two cycle of energy completed so frequency of the variation of current and charge if f then the frequency of variation of energy will be your 2f so this is the general theory related to lc circuit now come to the certain example based on lc circuit okay now see the one of the example related to lc circuit in this question given as an inductor of inductance 2 milli henry is connected across a charge capacitor of capacitance 5 microfarad okay it is found maximum charge on capacitor here 200 micro coulomb to find this value you have to find di by dt when charge is this much current i when charge is this much and maximum current as well as charge when current is half of the maximum value see how to do that one it is given inductor of inductance this connected across a charge capacitor it means capacitor is already charged and it has maximum charge here 200 so let this your charge capacitor maximum value q not 200 micro coulomb 
and its capacitance given here 5 microfarad. Now this is connected to an inductor of self inductance here 2 milli Henry. So this is the initial situation is given, starting situation. Now, since these two plates are connected with a wire, so these two are at a different potential because of the potential difference, charge flow. So charge flow, so current will establish. So see, this is your at, we can say T is equal to zero. At T is equal to T, charge on capacitor may be has been decreased Q and because of that current your I and here inductor is given here. Now this is a very similar situation as we have derived in the previous case. So variation of charge as we have derived Q naught cos omega t, the charge vary according to this. So now di by dt or current everything we have to find. So current is here minus dq by dt because charge on the capacitor here decreases. So this value will be here q naught omega sin omega t. This is the value of current. Now come to the our relation. So first we would like to find the omega value. See here as we know omega is equal to root over LC. Substitute the value of L and C. L is 2 milli Henry. This is your 5. 5 into 2, 10 and this is your 10 to minus 3 minus 6 10 to the power minus 9. So omega will be your 10 to the power 4. This is the omega value. So now I is written as Q naught 200 micro coulomb into omega. Omega 10 power 4 micro 10 power minus 6 sin 10 power 4 into T. So finally we can have I is equal to your 2 sin to the power 4 10 to the power 4 into t. So this is the variation of current. Next, they are asking di by dt when charge q is this much. The first thing come to the first situation. Charge q is this much. Our charge relation is this q. q is your 100. q not 200. This becomes your 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is equal to your cos omega t. So from here you will get omega t is your pi by 3. So when omega t or pi by 3 at that time di by dt. So di by dt. So di by dt is your from this expression. Minus, you are asking modulus. So, no need to take the minus sign, 2, 10 to the power 4, cos omega t, and cos omega t of 1 by 2, that so this is your 10 to the power 4 ampere per second, we can say, di by dt. Second part, current I, when charge this, Charge means Q is Q naught. Then omega t will be your 0. Omega t is 0. Then the current. And omega t is 0. Sin 0. So I will be your 0. So answer for second part is your I is 0. Now come to the third part. I maximum. I is equal to your 2 sin to the power 40. The maximum value of current means when sine function your 1, the so I maximum is your 2 ampere. 
I maximum is 2 ampere. Now see the fourth part. In the fourth part, they are asking charge value when I or I maximum by 2. As we have I is equal to I maximum sin omega t. So when I is I maximum by 2, so omega t will be your pi by 6. Omega t pi by 6, then see the value of charge. The Q is equal to Q naught cos omega t and cos omega t means cos pi by 6. Cos pi by 6 value root 3 by 2. The root 3 by 2 into Q naught, this is the value of charge. And Q naught value is how much given here? 200. So we can get 100 root 2 micro coulomb. So in this manner we can solve the problem by directly by using this relation. Now come to the one another problem. Now see the diagram. So from circuit diagram from circuit diagram initially initially switch K1 initially switch K1 is closed and K2 was open for long time for long time at t is equal to 0 k1 open and k2 close fine first part oscillation frequency of energy oscillation frequency of energy between inductor and capacitor capacitor second part find the charge on capacitor connected across connected across inductor when magnetic energy of inductor is when magnetic energy of inductor is 1 by 3 times of its maximum energy its maximum energy this is the question here so now see how to solve that one first of all switch k1 was closed and K2 was open, it means inductor was not a part of the circuit. Only this system was a part of circuit. And this switch K1 was closed for a long period. Long period means called when the steady state condition has been achieved. So when a steady state condition has been achieved, it means these two caps are now completely charged. So there is no current in the circuit. So First, we will calculate the how much charge on the capacitor. So, these two are in series. 2 microfarad, 2 microfarad become your 1 microfarad. And uh, potentially your 20. So, charge on capacitor. So, charge on each capacitor. Each capacitor. Q naught will be your 
ट्वेंटी माइक्रो कुलम दिस इज एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ आफ्टर दैट वॉर दस थिंग एट टी जीरो के वन ओपन इफ के वन ओपन के टू क्लोज के टू क्लोज सी एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो आवर डायग्राम आवर डायग्राम विल बी लाइक दिस दिस इज द डायग्राम एंड दिस हैव कैपेसिटेंस टू माइक्रोफेर एंड दिस सेल्फ इंडक्शन जीरो पॉइंट टू मिली हैनरी एट दिस इंस्टेंट इट हैज सम चार्ज क्यू नॉट इनिशियल चार्ज नाउ तो दिस इज द डायग्राम एट टी इज इक्ट जीरो एट इट इज जस्ट लाइक योर एल सी ऑसोलेशन सर्किट तो हियर एनर्जी ऑसोलेट बिटवीन इंडक्टर एंड कैपेसिटर इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट दे आर आस्किंग ऑसोलेशन एनर्जी ऑसोलेशन फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ एनर्जी बिटवीन इंडक्टर एंड कैपेसिटर तो ऑसोलेशन फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट इज द ओमेगा इज मीन द वेरिएशन ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ charge variation and current directly we can get that frequency and l value your 0.2 milli henry 10 to the power minus 3 c value your 2 10 to the power minus 6 so this become your 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 so 10 to the power minus 5 in 5 into 10 to the power 4 second minus 1 this is the frequency so frequency oscillation frequency of energy double of that so oscillation frequency of energy is your 2 omega and that 2 omega we can get This then the value become your ten power five per second. This is the oscillation frequency of energy. This is the first part of the problem. Now second part. Find the charge on capacitor connected across inductor when magnetic energy of inductor is one by three times of its maximum energy. So maximum energy of inductor. when all of its electrical energy convert into magnetic so maximum energy of inductor is half l i maximum square is equal to your half q not square by c maximum energy of that so now they are saying when magnetic energy of inductor is 1 by 3 of its maximum energy so at that time since total energy of the system you remain constant so now magnetic energy or 1 by 2 li square is your across inductor your when magnetic energy of inductor your 1 by 3 of maximum energy so 1 by 3 of maximum energy or 1 by 2 q not square by c at this moment magnetic energy is this much as total energy or constant as total energy constant so half q not square is the initial energy half q square by c is the at this instant energy let q is the charge at that instant and magnetic energy or 1 by 3 of 1 by 2 q not square by c plus 1 by 6 q not square by c so from here we can calculate multiply with 3 divide by 3 3 by 6 minus 1 by 6 2 by 6 so from here we can write the co 3 by 6 minus 1 by 6 2 by 6 means 1 by 
q not square by c that is equal to your 1 by 2 q square by c so q is equal to your q naught or root 2 by 3 into q naught so at this moment charge on capacitor is your q naught value already we have determined 20 micro coulomb so charge on capacitor your root 2 by 3 into 20 micro coulomb so this is the solution of this second part so this is a general idea about your lc circuit